fair to say that markets have changed quite a lot in the last six months. A lot of people are looking forward, relatively nervous as to what's going to happen to asset prices and valuations. Stonebeck sees this as an opportunity. Broadly speaking, an alternative investment could be defined as anything that isn't your standard liquid asset class, such as public equities or public bonds. In the case of Stonebeg, it would be real estate equity and real estate debt. The reason they're quite compelling as investment strategies for certain investors is that they don't generally act as volatile as public markets do. They have less correlation to market trends, more correlation to the underpinning asset value. The current environment for real estate is very much wait and see. So at the moment, there's very much a bid ask spread between what people are willing to pay for something and what people are willing to accept. Now, over time, we expect that to narrow. We're actually convinced there is going to be a material repricing in the markets that we address. Stonebeg's strategy for investing in our core markets is relatively simple. We look to invest or anticipate market trends to offer our investors compelling returns at a period of time in products that are likely to become of significant interest to institutional buyers over the course of the next three, four, five years. That means that we need to be at the forefront really of investing in new typology of assets or assets that are gonna come on the trend. In the US, that for us means primarily focusing on the multifamily industry and in Switzerland that's been focused lately on logistics and industrial sites. And in Southern Europe, where the market's nowhere near as deep as it is in the US, we've had to be a lot more selective. I think one of the main distinction points comparing us to our peers would be the depth of resource that we put behind the jurisdictions that we decide to invest in. To give an example, in Spain, we have a team of 70 people. They cover every single aspect of real estate investing from technical and asset management to commercial to investments, to portfolio management. This is very different to some of our peers that generally have much smaller operating teams on the ground and rely more so on third party than people within their own business. We think the next 12 to 18 months are going to be incredibly interesting. We think there's going to be a lot of opportunity to invest capital in situations as this repricing happens. For us, the course of the next 12 months is to line up a pipeline in the capital base in order to take advantage of that opportunity. Another avenue for us to unlock value is going to come down the line, which is going to be NPLs and more distressed. This is a very exciting moment in time, turn in the cycle, because we believe it offers our clients yet another investment arm, which hasn't really been there over the course of the last couple of years.